infinite sets. We will study about sets today. Finite and infinite sets. If the elements of a set can be counted, then the set is called a finite set. Otherwise, it is called an infinite set. Finite If you can count the elements of the set like set A its elements can be counted If you put dot dot and in the last element you write that means the set starts from 1, it is still 10. They are countable, so it's a finite set. Infinite set, the last element is not indicated. Suppose B is 1, 2, 3 and so on. There is no end, so this is infinite set. Subsets. If A and B are two sets such that every element of the set B is also an element of the set A, then we say that B is a subset of A. For example, every element in set B is also in A. So B is a part of A. This is A and this is B then B is a subset of A and we write it like this B is a subset of A suppose now A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and B is 2, 3, 5 check each element of B is also in a. Therefore, B is a subset of A. Let's take one more example. C. 1, 3, 6. Can we say C is a subset of A? 6 is not there. So, it says C is not a subset. Not we put like this. A subset of A. Next universal set we denote universal set by u universal set we write it as u the universal set is a set containing all the elements under current consideration I suppose u is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. A is 2, 10, 12. B is 6, 8, 2. <coughs> Sorry. Then A and B are subsets of the universal set. A and B are subsets of the universal set. Complement of a set. Complement of a set. We denote it like this. This means complement of set A. So complement of set A contains all those numbers X so that X belongs to U is there in the universal set and X does not belong to A. I'll show you with Venn diagram. Suppose this is U. It has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And change the color and take A. Let's take 
let's take a select a is three four seven and eight this makes a now which elements of u are not in a they should be in u but not in a so those will be complement of a which are the elements 1 2 5 and 6 complement of the universal set is the null set what will be the complement of the universal set that will be null set and the complement of the null set you know the null set null set means there is no element so complement of the null set will be universal set next is union of two sets union of two sets a and b a and b we denote it like this a union b union a union b is the set containing all those elements each one of which is either in a or in b or in both a and b and we can show with Venn diagram like this but this is U universal set this is A let's change the color and we will take some other color for B select B this is B. Oh, it's not done Anyway, A and this is B. So A union B means all the elements of A or and all the elements of B. The elements which are common to both, we write them only once. I'll just shade A union B. We can shade A union B is all the elements of A and all the elements of B. Suppose A is 1, 2, 3 and B is 3, 4, 5, 6. Then A union B will be all the elements of A means 1, 2, 3. Now 3 is repeating here. So we write it only once. In any side we do not repeat the elements. We do not list them twice or thrice. Only once we write them. So 1, 2, 3 and from B 4, 5, 6. This is A union B. Intersection of two sets. Intersection of two sets. Intersection symbol of two sets. So what is symbol for this? We write it like this A intersection of B. Intersection of two sets A and B is the set containing all elements common to both A and B. It contains only common elements. Now in the previous example A is 1, 2, 3 and B is 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is A intersection B? Common to both is 3. In this example A is 1, 2, 3, B is 3, 4, 5, 6. So the common element is 3, that is A intersection B. How do we show in the Venn diagram? This is A, B, which is a common part in both of them. We will shade that part. Common part in both of them is, this is common to both of them. This is A intersection B. This is A 
this is b this is common to them a minus b we say difference of sets a and b a difference b that means all the elements of a which are not in b so elements which belong to a but which do not belong to b for example a has 1 2 3 4 and b 3 4 5 which elements of a are not in b 3 is there 4 is there only 1 and 2 so we we'll say a difference b is 1 2 now i'll show you the diagrams for this is a this is b this side of the elements are not in b these are the elements which are in b also so which area should be shared in this which is not in b this color use mother color yellow okay we'll choose yellow color so this area this is in a but this is not in b so this is a difference b similarly b difference a will be all the elements of b which are not in a so this side is called b minus a b difference a disjoint sets this joint sets if the sets a e and b are such that a intersection b is a null set there is no common element we can write like this or we can write like this then we say that a and b are disjoint sets let's change the color we'll take darker color okay so let's show this by way in diagram we can select this a and b are disjoint so we'll take a and there's nothing common so it is b a and b have nothing common see disjoint they're not joint these are disjoint cells i hope you have understood thank you